what is up YouTube? My name is Adam and today I have some new transitions for you guys for Premiere Pro. Um, these are quick blur transitions so I made a little video for you guys. Check it out. So I hope you guys can see the transitions from that video. So let's switch to Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to use them. So we're here at the screen now. And before we start the video, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot and helps us grow. Follow me on Instagram. I'll have my link in the description. And also I want to apologize for not posting in about a week and a half. Um, I had a lot of film and editing to do and a lot of work that I had to get done. So, but now we're back. And also I just want to let you guys know that I don't use Selfie anymore to upload my, my presets. Um, now I'm posting them on my website. So all you gotta do is just go to my website. It's adamkelkervisuals.com. And then you're gonna come over to here to my blog. So after I finish recording this video, the new blog is gonna be up. And all you gotta do is click it, boom. So it's gonna bring you to my preset page. All you gotta do is scroll down. And then you'll see this. So all you gotta do is like this on Facebook or just share it on Facebook and then the preset will be unlocked and then you can download it from there. So I'm gonna be updating my website. I'm gonna have a new layout and then I'm gonna start selling preset products. So you're gonna have a whole bunch of unique, dope presets just for your videos where you're gonna save time editing just cause it's gonna be drag and drop just for you. But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight to the video. Okay, dope, so now we're back to Premiere Pro. I have my clips cut up. I got this footage from a Visionary Art Group and also I just looked up on Google uh, 4K footage and I found some dope footage from there. So after you download your presets, you're gonna to go to AKV Presets and then quick blur transitions. And if you still don't know how to download presets, all you gotta do is scroll up, go to presets, import presets, and then just go to where you download the file. And then I uh, just double click that and it should import to Premiere Pro. So as I was saying, back to the presets, I have the quick blur transitions. I have one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven presets for you guys. So dope, dope, dope. So what I like to do is I like to have my, uh, my transition about 10 frames in. So I'll go to the middle, Hold shift, press the left arrow key once, cut that, go over, hold shift, go over two times, one, two. So that's five on each side, cut that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna nest these. So if you guys haven't noticed, all my most of my transitions are nest, and all you can do is drag and drop just for to make it easy as possible. So now we have our presets. So boom, let's go ahead and try this one out. Let's see what that looks like. So that's pretty dope. Just like a little quick blur, you know, it's a dope transition. So for the next one, we got we got horizontal two and, hor and vertical two, and we got horizontal and vertical one. So let me show you what the difference between these is. I like that one a lot. So that's like just a little quick, you know, vertical uh, blur transition. You, you can see like stretches the clip and it's pretty seamless like I like I love this transition I hope you guys do too but um let's check out the difference between this one and the first one or the second one I'm sorry so here's that and it's just like this one just stretches out a little more as you can see if you want to adjust the keyframes you can I already did it for you but you know if you want to go for it so that one's dope and then it's like we have diagonal left and right so it's just the same thing, it just goes diagonal, it's dope. So let's go ahead and put a whole bunch of presets together on all these clips so we can just see what it looks like. Okay, so all I did was just nest some clips and then I just put the presets on them. So let's just check it out in real time. So that's pretty dope, like you can actually see how, how dope the sequence is when you put them all together. So. So that's pretty much it for the video. I'm gonna be doing some new stuff. I'm actually gonna be making a couple of new channels, you know, just having a whole bunch of different stuff. So please stay tuned to that. So if you found this video useful, go ahead and hit it with a like. But anyways, that's it for the video. Peace.